please click subscribe in the top right corner. It won't interrupt this video, and together we can take over the world of hair. Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you a tutorial on a look that I posted on Instagram a while back. It's with a fascinator look, so I'm going to do the black liner with the red lip and an updo with the fascinator. So let's get started with the makeup. So I've already gotten my like basic face makeup on. Normally with this look, lashes is nice. I'm going to just, for this look, use the black liner and not so much focus on the lashes just because we are going to have that fascinator over it, sort of like sweeping the eyes and if you have like these long lashes batting on this like kind of bird cage thing, it gets uncomfortable after a while. So I realized that just your own natural lashes is good enough. So I'm going to start off, I'm not going to do much heavy anything with the eye except for the eyeliner and then we're going to do a red lip and then we'll move on to the hair. So I'm going to do the, um, the eyeliner first. You do want it slightly winged out and dramatic just because that's kind of the look you want, kind of piercing eyes. I don't really want to do much with eyeshadow just because in that era I think it was more eyeliner and the red lip. So we want to keep it basic with that. So I'm going to use this red in Ladybug by Mud Makeup. Now I'm just going to set everything with a powder just because we want to look kind of matte with the red lip and then the black lip. Now for the hair, my hair is already kind of waved out like with the wand. We want a little bit of that texture. Um, now we're just going to start pinning pieces up and getting the hair up and off the face. I'm going to just be using these little clips just because I think they are the best for holding hair up. So we're going to start by grabbing the crown piece of hair here, pulling that up and teasing a little bit just to get a little bit of volume up in there. So you want to just grab the hair loosely back like if you were about to do a ponytail kind of style, just because you want to really get it off your neck and off your face. Making sure that this top here is luminous and somewhat seamless. And then I'm just going to twirl that up and clip that. And put as many pins as you feel needed for that. The rest of those curled pieces you just kind of like let hang over that. Then if there's one longer piece that you can feel just kind of dangling out over everywhere, you can pin that back up. Just remember that it's not necessarily about kind of how the updo looks, it's more going to be about the dr drama of the fascinator. So then I bought this black flower just from an arts um, and kind of like an arts 
craft store and it sold like fabrics and stuff so it comes with it, I attached this little clip to it just so that it can be gives it like an anchor for bobby pins to go through and anything if you want to clip it and it comes with like a wire kind of loop so another thing I got was the feather just because I think the feather just adds a lot of drama to it and then we have the flower and then we have the net And then I got this like black kind of mesh bird cage. I think I got two feet. So like I said, I like to kind of offset if the hair is going this way, I like to make the, the bird cage going this way. So you just start to kind of play with it. Pull it over and see what is looking normal. And depending, I, I think some girls don't like it so much in their face. It's really up to you. I like it kind of covering quite a bit, but it's up to you. And then you have this like little piece hanging out, so you start to fold that in. Another thing I like is when there is kind of like random pieces sticking up. Obviously it's up to you. You don't want the end here of where it was cut to stick out, so that you want to tuck in. Pin that in place. And you can play around with it, obviously, if there's one part that's hanging up way too much. It's actually very flexible and really lets you play with it. Okay, so when you've got it somewhat in place, I'm going to actually use the feather as an anchor through the little net here and pin it just kind of right behind my ear and pulling it down as far as it can go, but still leaving some feather. Now I'm going to place the flower. Right now you're just kind of freehanding everything. Once it's in place where you like it, then you can pin everything down. Okay, now I'm just gonna grab some bobby pins and pin it through the back. And then you can just hairspray the hair a little bit more just to make sure that everything stays in place and doesn't move around and there you go. So just pin everything in with bobby pins and then hairspray the hair just to make sure that everything stays in place for the rest of the night. And it actually stays really secure just because everything is very light and you know four or five bobby pins go a long way for this look. You'll get lots of compliments because it actually looks like a quite put together look and it doesn't actually take much time. So hope you enjoy this. It's a little bit different than what I normally wear obviously and different than what I normally post on here. So if you like more videos like this please let me know. Leave your suggestions down below and give us a thumbs up if you like this video and check out all my other videos. So thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. And don't forget to watch my new video every Monday.